Well, Bill, the district needs to erase a nearly $16 million deficit by 2016. And last month, they submitted a deficit elimination plan to the state. This week, they resubmitted a plan with some changes. Well, that will most likely mean more cuts, as well as changes for parents, teachers, and students. The school board voted to close four school buildings, including three more elementary schools and making some program changes. For example, the Brownell Homes campus will now reopen as a pre-K through sixth grade campus focusing on science, technology, engineering, and math curricula. And last month, the district CFO also suggested cutting utilities to vacant buildings, going paperless, and leasing or selling the service center. It's a necessary step that the district needs to take in order to assure that the facilities are properly aligned with the number of students that we have and that our other support services are properly aligned. Once again, this is a plan to get rid of the district's current more than $15 million deficit. And once the state approves a plan, the district will now have somewhat of a roadmap for the next three years. We'll have more details for you on NBC 25 News at 11. But for now, live in Flint, Jane Park, NBC 25 News. Bill.